Hey, what's up my little D-bags? It's your boy, Just Scott. And today I wanna to do something a little bit different and do a little bronology on the 2017 Super Bowl commercial that's causing a lot of controversy right now. And that Super Bowl commercial is the Budweiser one. Take a look. Warum bist du aus Deutschland? I want to brew a beer. Welcome to America. You don't want to hear it. Now, this whole thing's causing up a lot of controversy because Trump signed an executive order banning certain Muslims from entering into America. And all over the world, that's making people feel a little bit like Trump and his whole administration are a bunch of racist old white men. And yes, some of that may be true, but there's always two sides to the fence. And on one side, there's a lot of people feeling that. And on the other, there's a lot of people feeling like this is a good thing because now there's gonna be a lot less cab drivers in inner cities and there's gonna be a lot less traffic. But I don't side on that one way or the other. You're just gonna have to guess which way just got swings. This is a pretty tricky situation for a lot of us bros out there. Mostly because Budweiser is our bros drink of choice because it tastes golden and delicious every time it touches your mouth. And yes, it's refreshing. And yes, I may or may not have a sponsor right now. So here is my bro perspective or prospective on the whole Super Bowl campaign. And that's simply just the facts. I learned something from this whole Super Bowl campaign. And that was Budweiser was actually founded by a Nazi immigrant. You don't look like you're from around here. Think about this, Nazis are an extremely elitist group of individuals that only believe a certain group of people should be the ones that are running and ruling the whole free world. So that's probably the most exclusive group that you can find, correct? And with that said, the Trump administration is getting tagged with a similar agenda to the Hitler administration. Now think about this, Budweiser, the king of all beers, is now associated with two of the most elitist organizations to ever exist in all of human time. No. Now finally think about this. Now when you're at the club or the bar with your boys, you can order a Budweiser and not feel like you're cheaping out because Budweiser is one of the most exclusive elitist beers out there now. Thank you very much. Now when you're at the bar and you order your Budweiser, the girlies are gonna be looking at you like, wow, this guy must be a somebody because he's drinking a Budweiser. Drei Gläser. Now all you hipsters out there that are drinking your $15 IPAs with all those hops in it that you know doesn't taste good, all the girls ain't gonna be looking at you anymore, they're gonna be looking at the bros, cause guess what? It's 2017 and this is the comeback year for us bros who got forgotten about in late 2006. So welcome back bros, it's our time to shine. Thank you Budweiser, thank you Trump, and thank you Nazis. All right, that's it for this week's video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And tune in next week when we talk about not getting discouraged when you're out there trying to get that job and all you can hear in your head is your father's voice still calling you a loser and you're never gonna be anybody. Guess what? There's a solution and it's called getting drunk. John Spicer, our press secretary, gave Alternative facts to that, but the point remains that there's. Facts? <laughs>